But first, as we come on the air tonight, deputies are trying to figure out what led up to a shooting at a crowded bar in Tampa early this morning. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay this weekend. I'm Miranda Parnell. Right now, five people are being treated for gunshot wounds after the shooting at Tally Ho Bar Lounge and Grill on North 56th Street. Police say it happened just after 3 a.m. In videos posted by the business, it appears they were hosting a large party inside, but there were also large crowds gathered outside in the parking lot. Now, investigators have not said where specifically the shooting happened, but they say they may have been more than one shooter. A witness tells us he heard at least six shots and saw several people running with guns outside. Police say none of the five people shot were still at the scene by the time they got there. All of them were taken to local hospitals and are expected to survive. Right now, investigators are still interviewing them, witnesses and the business to figure out what led up to this. All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor and praises to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai Ba'ashim Rechak Wadash. I'm a shower part of the camp prophets in Babylon. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect that scatter them on the four corners of the earth. In this lesson, I want to talk about the news clip that you've seen at the beginning. Here's the title from Newsbreak Five Shot at Hillsborough County Bar Party. Deputies say. And this happened 21 hours ago, so it was recent. Well, it was published 21 hours ago, so. It says it occurred at 3 a.m. So it says deputies responded to a shooting at the Tally Ho Bar on 56th Street at 3 a.m. So that was something actually local. It was in Tampa, you know, and we are the camp prophets in Babylon in Tampa Bay, Florida. So, you know, judgment is being executed, man. Judgment is being put forth in this earth. And we're seeing it. And it's only going to increase. It will not cease. This is the book of Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 5. The just Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shah, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. And see, this is the morning right now. It's being prophesied of his words are true and faithful. And everything that the Most High, all of his thoughts and his intents, and purposes will come to pass. This is just proof. And it's only going to get worse. According to Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4. Of the men that sign and crying out. For all the abomination that be done in the midst thereof. So now the Most High is acting upon. This wickedness. By bringing forth judgment. And that's what righteousness is. When you want to see judgment. See a lot of people out here. They don't, they don't want to see people. You know. Suffering. They don't want to see people going through bad times. They don't want to see, you know, things like this. This was a shooting. They don't want to see those things. Because to them, they just think, oh, everything's supposed to be all good. And, well, the most high is a man of war, so he has dualism. Good is set against evil. So if you do wickedly, then you will be judged in a grievous way of suffering, torment, death, and destruction. But if you do things righteous, Okay, then the Most High will reward you for your works. That's why there's a difference between the men that do this work and the men that's in the world of all people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because, you know, you have no place to be at this damn bar, you know, at 3 a.m., man. Okay? It was judgment, basically. It says five people were injured in, in a shooting at the local bar Sunday morning. So this happened Sunday morning. Okay? And five people got shot, man. Okay? And we do camp, you know, on Saturdays. So it was right after camp was done, man. People got shot up at this bar. See, instead of people serving the most high, they choose to go to these parties and all these things, these gatherings, you know, feasting, basically, being in the house of feasting. And let's get this, because this is what you're supposed to be doing as a man. All right? We went out and we was prophesying, you know, the camp. And we was sighing and crying for the Most High to judge this place. And guess what? Look, the Most High just, you know, act upon judgment. And every morning, the Most High brings it to light. So you're going to see it happen every single morning, man. That's why it's very important to do this work. But let's get this real quick of what men are supposed to be doing, man. Because there's a lot of men that will be, you know, 
uh, saying Shalom while they're passing by the prophets. But why, why aren't you teaching? Why aren't you presenting your body as a living sacrifice? Okay? And we're going to get this. This is the book of Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. So you got to be present. You got to use all right, this vessel that you're in to worship the Most High, to go out, to prophesy, to teach. And all you got to do is teach what you know. It's not that hard. Okay? You know the names. You know the fear. Okay? You increase in learning, man. So that way you can teach even more. It's not about just doing it one time. It's about doing this for your whole life, living it. Okay? It says holy. So that means it's a certain way you're supposed to conduct yourself. You're not supposed to be like these people, not partying like these people. They had this boy at 3 a.m., man. Partying. And guess what? Then the most I had that place got shut up. Shut up. Okay? It says, upon arrival, deputies found a large group of people at the location for a party organized by the business. So a large group of people came. Okay? And guess what? It got shot up. And five people got injured. They're in hospitals. As you see in the clip. So this is showing you, you know, what type of lifestyle you want to live. Do you want to uh, present your body as a living sacrifice and worship the most? Or do you want to just be in the world and do worldly shit? And when you do worldly shit, that stuff happens. You get judged for being a nigga and not worshiping the most. High because the most I don't need you men. All right. If you're not putting forth that energy, time and effort to praise him, man. Okay. It says. Going back Romans 12 verse 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of Yahweh Shemel Shah that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto the most high Yahweh Shemel Shah which is your reasonable service so you have we have a duty to be done man we have a work that needs to be done we need to be present we need to go out and teach and that's exactly why you see recently in the same location it's in Tampa in Hillsborough County a place got shot up Okay, right after we finish, you know, communing and fellowshipping, man. Okay, and it's going to keep increasing, man. You're going to see it more and more and more. Tomorrow, the next day, every morning, you're going to see judgment being done. Even in the clip, they wanted answers. Well, the answers are in the scriptures. Okay, but there's a lot of our people that don't want to hear, okay, the rebuke of the wise. But it said they'll go party at these... Festivals and gatherings to what? Hear a song of fools, man. Okay, which is not life. And we're going to get in that too in the book of Ecclesiastes. But let's start here. Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 5. The just Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. So when the Most High judges you, okay, you got shot up. If you pass away and die in the hospital, any of those things, hey, man, it was justified. It was righteous because the Most High will not do iniquity it says every morning does he bring his judgment to light so when you see on the news death destruction people you know getting injured you know even in there it said those five people got injured deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39 says i kill i make what i make alive i wound and i heal so the most i wound so the most i injured he said there's no other god with me okay so it's yahweh that do all these things it says he faileth not see so these things will come to pass no matter whether you believe or whether you don't believe, it will have come to pass. And if you don't believe, you will die in your unfaithfulness. It says, but the unjust knoweth no shame. See, they know no shame, so they don't have no knowledge, man. Okay? That's a problem for our people, too. They refuse to hear the words of wisdom, man. So the majority of our people do that. So the majority of our people are going to be what? Getting caught up in judgment, man. Okay? Let's get this, Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 2. This is, you know, going into, pick a side, man. Do you want to be a degenerate or you want to be, you know, the most high chosen people, man? These so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, this this is this is something that you, you really could should consider. Instead of out there just, you know, living it up and trying to party, you know. We're not in this time to party, man. We're in this time to prophesy. This is a book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 7 and verse 2, it says, It is better to go to the house of mourning. So, you know, like I said, you know, in Ezekiel chapter 9, around the fourth verse, okay, there's men sighing and crying. We're mourning out to the Heavenly Father for judgment. And look, the Most High acted upon it. 
And the most I is going to continue doing these things. The more we prophesy, the more we mourn, the more we cry out. It says, then to go to the house of feasting. And that's what these people did. They'd rather just go to this party, okay, at 3 a.m. And they, they wasn't out there, you know, serving y'all by smell shy, okay? We was out there, you know, all the way till sundown, man. Every Saturday till sundown. So, you know, once sundown hits, after 12, it's it's the next day in America, you know, the way America set up. So, it's after 12, it's 3 a.m. in the morning, and this place got shot up. And a large group of people gathered there, okay, for a party. So, it's showing you that they're, they're feasting, you know, they're, they're partying, they're trying to live it up. But they didn't consider that, you know, some of them could have walked past the prophets. Okay, at the river walk when we go and teach, and then they gather to that uh place. Okay, because you get warned when you walk past, you get warned, you get marked for judgment if you if you walk away and just uh despise the word. Scriptures say, He who, whosoever that that de despises the word shall be destroyed. So, see, they just walk past, they think nothing much of it when we're out there mourning and crying. So, then look, it could have been any one of them that got shot up. And they walked past the prophets. It could have been someone that was scoffing and mocking. Okay? Because we have plenty of that going on. This was not that far away, man. Okay? From, from the river walk where we, you know, prophesy at. It says, For that is the end of all men. And the living will lay it to his heart. See, the living will consider and think, You know what? I should go out and teach. I should go out and serve the Lord. Instead of just walking past. Some say, Oh, shallow woman just walked past. Grown men. Okay, especially if you older than the men out there that's teaching, that's an embarrassment, man. We have, we have grown men like fifty something years old, forty, you know, above their thirties, walking past the camp and just saying shalom, or like you know nodding their head, you know, man, wh where's you? Are you going doing the work? You know, because that's what it's about. It's about men that's like minded. Can two walk together unless they be agreed? We can't walk with you, man. If you ain't doing this, man, you got to be doing this work. Okay? Take this thing seriously. This is the book. I mean, uh, continuing verse 3. It says, Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. So that's why we catch out. That's why we suffer. And we, we're in this time of evil, time of bad times. Okay? It's for our betterment. It's for our learning. Continuing verse 4. It says, The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. See? So we're mourning out. And if you're wise, you'll be mourning out. If you have any type of sense in your head, any two cents in your head, man, in your brain, if you if it's thinking properly, you will be out there mourning. It says, but the heart of the fools is in the house of mirth. And that's what we see, you know, at this club, this bar, okay? They was in the house of feasting. They was in the house of mirth, just partying, you know, not considering you know, that the Most High is bringing judgment upon this earth. Okay? Continuing though, verse 5 says this. It says, It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. See? The rebuke of the wise. It's better to hear this word. Men going out and teaching. It's better to hear these men Properly teaching the word and breaking down the scriptures properly, man. Then to hear the song of fools, man. They, these people went and gathered, you know, to hear the song of fools, man. They should have been out there serving y'all by some outside, man. So the Most High is going to be, hey, punishing all you people, man, that don't want to worship the Most High, all right, that are against the Most High. He want to punish y'all people, man. Okay? Especially you, you uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Y'all definitely going to get it, you know. And, and and if you know that you're a Hebrew Israelite and you ain't doing nothing about it, like teaching and doing the things that the Most High commanded us to do, then you definitely going to get it. Because Scripture said judgment shall start at my house first. So we're going to see these people get judged, man. Every single morning we're going to see these people get judged. It's only going to get worse, man. Okay. Let's get to this precept real quick. First Corinthians fourteen and verse thirty-eight. Okay.
This is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 38. It reads, it says, but if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Yeah, and that's going into uh, tying to Zephaniah 3 and 5, man. The unjust knows no shame. They consider they don't consider why people are getting jacked up. Why, you know, people are getting punished and judged for their wicked deeds and doings, man. So they're, they're ignorant. Let them be ignorant, man. We, we're out there. We're only here for the people that can understand and consider and think like us, man, properly. Okay? All your other people are going to just die and perish, man. The Most High has it out to judge you people, man. Okay? And Yahweh shall so love with none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. So if you don't have wisdom, the Most High ain't dealing with you, man. Okay? If you have wisdom, you'll be out there mourning, man. Okay? And that that uh, pursuant to Jeremiah chapter four, let's go let's go there, man. All right, Jeremiah chapter four and verse twenty-two. Okay, because when you go into that word ignorant, you know it's 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 to not consider, not understand, not understand. So let's let's see what happens to people that are ignorant, man. Jeremiah chapter four and verse twenty-two says this. It says, "For my people is foolish; they have not known me." They are Sardis children. So we're talking to our people, okay? See, our people will go to, you know, these gatherings to party and try to live live it up in the land of their captivity and, and not ask the most how to judge this place, you know? It's not time to be out there playing and partying. You're using all your energy and effort into doing folly and mirth, okay? You should be doing it to to worship the most high. Yahweh watch now, shy man. It says, and they have none understanding. See, so we're here to teach so our people can get the understanding. But if you refuse it, then the Most High has to do away with you, man. It says, they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. See, they have no knowledge to do good, man. All they know is to do wickedness. So these people that got shot up, man, they was doing wickedness, man. And the Most High judged them for that. And we're going to see more works of the Most High being done and pushed forth to this earth, man. Okay, let's get it right here, man. Amos chapter 3. This is the book of Amos chapter 3. In verse 6 it says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And a trumpet's being blown. And now we're seeing judgment, man. Okay? You get the warning first and then you're going to see death, destruction, doom. It says, And the people not be afraid. See, these warnings are going out every day. We're telling you the judgment of Yahweh Shemal Shine, how it's going to get amped up even more. It's going to be more intense, man. Alright? The spirit of death is going to be on this earth, man. Okay? Mass death and destruction, man. So you should be afraid. But if you're not, the most high just going to take you out, man. It says, Shall there be evil in the city? And the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, have not done it. See, these people don't understand that the most high is the reason why this happened. People want answers. People trying to seek this and that, man. No, the most high is doing it, man. All right? Continuing, it says, Surely Yahweh Shemel Shai power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets, see? So if you're calling yourself servant the Most High, you, you will be his prophet, all right? You'll be his mouthpiece. But we see a lot of false prophets, a lot of, you know, people that are going, doing their own thing, man, instead of submitting themselves to Yahweh Shemel Shai, man, okay, and righteousness. And we're talking about our people. So when you do all those things, hey, man, you, you're not with the Most High, man. You're working against the Most High because you 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 think that you got it all figured out, man. That's pride, man. All right? Departing from, like Scripture say, you know, the beginning of pride is when one departs from his maker. Okay? So all you, these people that went to that party part, living it up, man, see, that's what they, that, that's all what they cared about, man. That was all on their mind. So you're not, your mind wasn't serving y'all by Shemel Shah. You wasn't considering you know, that's why, you know, the men that's in this truth, we live simple lives, man. We, we make our daily bread, we take it day by day, and we do the things that the Most High commanded us to do, man. We keep it simple. 
We don't go out there and do, do a whole lot of ruckus and draw attention to ourselves, man. All right? Every time when you go out there and doing all this wickedness, hey, man, death, death is out there, man. That's why it's better to be in the house, man. You know, spiritually and physically, man. All right? Serving the most high. Listening to these videos. Studying. You know, teaching. Preaching. All these things. It says, the lion hath roared. Who will not fear? Yeah, how Bashmel Shah power has spoken. So when you hear this this word, when you hear it coming from the men that's speaking, all right, the words of the he Heavenly Father, you should be in fear. You should want to know what's going on. You should want to consider and understand. So that way you'll be in the loop. Instead of being caught out in the open without knowing anything. It says, Who can but prophesy? So that's why we prophesy, man. Alright, there's no there's no way we cannot stop doing these things because you see it every day, man. Judgment's being executed. And it's going to get more and more and more intense, man. So with that, Yahweh is all this edifying called law. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rechak, Until next time I say Shalom, DTA, Abad, Babal, soon.